Hello, Bicodonia here, and we are in Queensland, somewhere near the edges of Cyclone Debbie, and it rained a little last night, and I just thought I'd better check what's under this flood water before I ride through it. It looks alright. I can't feel any damage to the bitumen. Now this is why I invested in these very expensive boots. They are city adventure boots and they are Gore-Tex and supposed to be waterproof up to my knees. They have stayed nice and waterproof so far and I have to say I do love being able to walk out my crossings like this without having to spend the rest of the day with wet feet. I hope my bike doesn't fall over in the wind there. Stands a bit dodgy. The tricky thing is, right, so we change the height of the stand because it was always too tall, but when you load it up with gear, the preload, like the, the initial sag with the gear is about this much. So once I get off the bike, the bike becomes this much taller, which, what's that? Which means there's like a dynamic change in the height of the bike by about this much. Every time I get off it, which makes it very hard to get the stand the right length. But there you go. This seems all right. The frogs are happy. All right, kids. Seems to be a okay. Now to walk back again. Actually, ride through with my motorbike. Just to take it easy. But touch wood, it shouldn't be too slippery because this water has not been here for long. Right. So in the middle of the road is the shallowest. Nice little hump in the middle of the road here. And all the bitumen seems fine. I'll just be careful and try not to slide on my arse with all my gear because that would be way suboptimal. Right, catch you in a sec. Disasters, awesome. 